Madurai, with its rich cultural heritage and ancient legacy, is veritably the citadel of the glorious Tamil culture and knowledge. It was here that the three Tamil Sangams or the congregations of Tamil scholars were held in the past. The vibrant city of Madurai is situated on the fertile plain of the river Vaigai and is skirted by the Sirumalai and Nagamalai hills in the north and west. Located at the foot of the sprawling hills of Nagamalai is a serene and green campus of Madurai Kamaraj University, a monumental temple of learning and the pride of Madurai. Madurai Kamaraj University is a state university established in the year 1965. To seek truth is knowledge is the motto of this university. From the time of its inception, the Madurai Kamaraj University, or MKU as it's called, has been imbued with a clear sense of a distinct mission. Development of human resources through value-based and quality higher education of excellence, self-reliance, social relevance, disseminating specialized knowledge and skills is the vision of the Madurai Kamaraj University. Today, it is at the forefront in introducing need-based and job-oriented courses. The University Grants Commission has recognized the Madurai Kamaraj University as a university with potential for excellence. The university is one amongst nine such universities all over India. The university has been re-accredited by NAC with an A grade in the third cycle of accreditation this academic year. The phenomenal growth of the university is due to the significant contributions made by the various vice-chancellors of this university. The present vice-chancellor, Colonel Dr. Kalyani Madivanan, is the 15th vice-chancellor and significantly the first lady vice-chancellor of this temple of learning. The university has 20 schools, 77 departments and many academic units and centers. Madurai Kamaraj University has one premier university college, six constituent colleges and one postgraduate extension center. The university has 84 affiliated colleges, nine approved institutions and four evening colleges. All these cover the four districts of Madurai, Deni, Virudhunagar and Dindakal. The School of Information Technology and the School of Youth Empowerment were started in the year 2012 under the dynamic leadership of the present Vice-Chancellor. Two five-year integrated programs, namely the Center for Film and Electronic Media Studies and Center for Tourism and Hotel Management were also started in the year 2012. Masters in Film and Electronic Media Studies is a unique interdisciplinary course not only because of the challenging infrastructure, but also because the center provides an opportunity to the hitherto untapped potentials of the rural youth and help them gain their identity in the career. The center has two fully equipped shooting floors, 5.1 surround sound mixing theater, dubbing theater, edit suites, color grading suites, a master color grading suite, a text lab, a VFX lab, a PCR setup, and an audio lab. The center has the latest high-end professional equipment for practical hands-on learning for the students. It is indeed a great honor that we have with us today the Oscar Award winner, Resul Pukuti, to inaugurate the shooting floors and recording theaters. Tourism and Hotel Management is a novel program that aims at a holistic development towards greater employability by imparting multiple skills with acute care. The center has kitchen facilities, front office management labs, training rooms for housekeeping, and several added facilities. This was inaugurated by the Honorable Minister Thurmati Gokula Indra of the Government of Tamil Nadu. Dr. TPM Library provides a conducive environment for the students, scholars, faculty, and the public for involved reading and research. It has around 3 lakh books. The Infonet division under National Knowledge Network providing online information resources 
from the InflibNet was inaugurated in 2012 by our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Kalyani Madhivanan. The library infrastructure has recently been thoughtfully renovated to be a sociable venue for the differently abled students as well. It has facilities like Braille, audiobooks, e-texts, and access to Infonet accessible computers with screen reader facilities. NKU is also the first state university to implement the RFID technology in libraries. This is also an initiative of the present administration. World-class labs are established for cutting-edge research and teaching in all streams. The schools have well-established laboratories and modern equipment facilities with state-of-the-art infrastructure for both the teacher and the taught. Other infrastructures include common conference halls, smart classrooms and libraries. Through these well-established research labs, infrastructure and equipment facility, students are enthusiastically involved in world-class research. A central instrumentation center at NKU has been recently constructed from the UGC UP funds at a cost of rupees 4 crores. The built-in area is 25,000 square feet approximately and this was declared open by our Honorable Madam Chief Minister Dr. J. Jalalita Avargar in February this year. It has two common instrumentation rooms, modern students amenities center, one seminar hall, one conference hall, rooms for officers and coordinators. This center also houses costly equipment like HR, TAM, SEM and many such equipments and infrastructure extremely useful for research and development. This beautiful auditorium come preview theater is also a part of this center. The university has established an internal quality assurance cell as recommended by the UGC and it is functioning for the cause of ensuring quality education in the university. The IQAC has been assigned a separate building since this academic year and the members are continuously improving the academic innovations in teaching and research. The world-class curriculum development cell, a dream of our Madam Chief Minister's Vision 2023, regularly updates and enhances the learning methods of this university. The NSS unit of this university is constantly involved in the welfare of the society and the students are active participants in the same. The university has a recently renovated main guest house with a lovely ambience for special invitees and guests. The university is also proud of its new academic staff college building opened by His Excellency the Governor Chancellor Thururosaya Avargar and the UGC Vice Chairman Thurudevaraj in October last year. The university also has a staff guest house for people who visit the university on official purposes. The Educational Multimedia Research Centre at NKU has the unique honour of being one of the two media centres established by UGC in Tamil Nadu. The NKU campus houses five men's hostels and three women's hostels with one more hostel under construction to accommodate the university students inside the campus and provide them with a secure and sound environment during the tenure of their study in this university. A centralized modern kitchen has been built for the ladies' hostel to provide the students with hygienic and good quality food. A counter with a canteen is also present in the ladies' hostel. A ladies' park has been created opposite of the ladies' hostel and is well maintained and used by the girls in the hostel to relax during their leisure hours. As a part of modernization, the indoor stadium attached to the physical education department has been renovated. Professional tournament standard floodlights have been installed for basketball, ball badminton and volleyball tournaments. The staff quarters is situated in an entirely tranquil environment, providing accommodation to the faculty members, both the teaching and the non-teaching. Security is available round the clock to maintain a secure environment for the people residing on campus. A children's park has been created for the recreation of the kids and the staff in the campus. The renovated university canteen is functioning actively after a gap of two years and the administration was taken up by the university itself and has been successfully catering to the needs of the people of the university as well as the people who visit the university for different purposes.
University transport facilities are available for the staff members. The university has a public school in its campus and a middle school at Palgale Nagar. Both are under the direct administration of the university. The fact that the university and the vice chancellor attach a lot of importance to healthcare is borne out by the conversion of the health center into a multi-specialty center attended by healthcare professionals around the clock. A 24-hour pharmacy, reception, an air-conditioned maternity ward, a well-equipped modern laboratory, a first aid room, a well-maintained consultancy room, a well-trained team of paramedical staff and dedicated doctors are some of the salient features of the medical facility that has been provided to cater to the needs of all people in the vicinity of the campus. This campus has a tranquil ambience and experience making life inside the campus very pleasing, most appealing and all the more pertinent for conducive learning. The Green and Clean program strives to reduce the environmental impact of the large residential campus and to make the campus sustainable by generating the required resources. The emphasis is on the generation of solar power to meet the requirements of the campus. The solar panels are planted on the top floors of the buildings and they supply the required power to the entire university. The solar and the eco-friendly measures of the university were inaugurated by our esteemed Madam Chief Minister via video conferencing this year. Madhuri Kamraj University is a second university in Tamil Nadu to launch the distance education programs in 1971. Its policy is to make the education reach the unreached and it constantly strives towards that. In 1993, the first overseas centre of the Directorate of Distance Education of the MKU was inaugurated in Kuwait by the then Vice-Chancellor, Colonel Dr. M. D. K. Kutalingam, and to him goes the credit of making a deficit budget a surplus one. The distance education programs are being conducted through more than 200 MKU academic centers in Tamil Nadu, in other states and overseas centers. It offers more than 100 undergraduate, postgraduate, PG diploma, diploma, certificate and pre-degree programs that cater to the educational needs of more than 1.5 lakh students. Under the able leadership of the Honorable Vice-Chancellor Dr. Kalyani Madhivanan, the syndicate members, the registrar, the controller of examinations, the dean of colleges, the directors, the special officers and every member of the teaching and non-teaching staff, various infrastructural developments have been taking place at MKU that have greatly contributed to a comfortable, conducive and professional life on the campus. Madurai Kamraj University continues on its relentless journey in pursuit of excellence and beyond, making it a true gateway to real learning and greater knowledge.